Hi everybody, it's Dr. Voss from Rocky Mountain Regenerative Medicine. I wanted to go over with you how to give yourself uh, a subcutaneous peptide injection, and this video will work for any uh, sub-Q peptide, although the, the dosages that I'm gonna show are specifically for thymosin alpha-1. Um, first off, you're gonna get a package. It, the package might vary in how it looks. It could be a padded envelope, it could be a box, depending on the compounding pharmacy that we're using. And particularly with the COVID situation now, Thymosin Alpha-1 it can be hard to come by. So we're gonna use the compounding pharmacy that's gonna be able to get it to you most quickly. So you're gonna get a package, you're gonna open it up. There should be three things in there. There's gonna be um, the, the peptide, and usually it comes in some sort of envelope. There's, there's a nice pack, which you can put in your freezer reuse. Um, the medication, which might look like this. Um, it could look like this, and there's some other you know, ways that it, that it could look depending on the compounding pharmacy. But the medication, you're gonna get some syringes, which could just come in a bag or in a box. But medic peptide, syringes, and alcohol swabs. And these that should all come together for you. And if it doesn't, let us know because um, we can help guide you how to, how to get, if for some reason the syringes didn't end up in the package or the alcohol swabs, we can talk you through how to get that for you. But it's peptide, syringes, alcohol swabs. All the right, this is what you need out of the out of the package that you get. The rest of it is garbage. Um, these go in the fridge for storage. Um, if don't worry if so these are, are generally good for about a week unrefrigerated. Um, they ship them refrigerated just to make sure they don't get too hot. Um, but as long as they're not sitting in like 120 degree heat in the sun, um, if this is melted and they're not totally cold by the time they've gotten to you, um, they're, they're, they should still be good. Just put them in the fridge. Um, all right, so now uh, the syringes usually come in, in one of two different sizes. And so I'm gonna show them both to you so you're familiar with them. Um, there's a 30 unit insulin syringe. And this you can see goes from, um, from 10 from 10 units to 30 units, okay? There's a 50 unit insulin syringe, which is a little bit longer, goes from 10 to 50. The size doesn't really matter. The dose on Thymosin Alpha-1 is to the 15. So, you know, on a 50 unit syringe, you can't see the five, I'll show it to you later. There, there's five with a dark line, 10 with a dark line, and 15 with a dark line. That 15 with a dark line, that's the dose for Thymosin Alpha-1. And this is on a, on a 30 unit syringe, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, you're going to, again, to the 15, to the dark line on, on, that corresponds to 15. Um, so that's 0.15 mLs or 15 units. Um, and so this is, now I'm gonna just walk you through how to do an injection. So what you need for an injection, um, you know, when you first open the medication, it's gonna have a plastic cap on it. Now I've, I have some here that, um, I'm saving for my family for God forbid if we need it. But, but it, so when it first comes, there's a, there's a plastic cap. Uh, the first time you're gonna have to pop that cap, it, just use your thumb or your fingers and peel it and, and it pops right off fairly easily. Um, but I'm gonna use a bottle that I already have open that I'm, that I'm using currently, that, that I personally am using prophylactically because I'm still seeing patients. So I'm gonna use that bottle to, to demonstrate this. What, what you need is, is the bottle from the fridge an alcohol pad and a syringe, okay? So you need, these are the three things you need to do the injection, okay? First thing you do is you take the alcohol swab out, you take your peptide and you swab this, that area in the middle, that, that gray rubber area is the area that needs to be swabbed. Swab that for 10 seconds. So 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, okay? You take that, I usually just leave the alcohol swab on top there uh, for the time being and set it down. So you have your medication, the alcohol pad on it, the, the wrapper for your alcohol swab, and, um, and the syringe. So three things. And then you, you can take your syringe, and, and regardless of the size, the wide end, um, this is the side, this is the plunger, so you're gonna pop that off. There's the plunger. Um, and then this side, the skinnier side is the needle, okay? So now I take the alcohol swab and I set it on the, 
you know, I, I just rest the alcohol pad next to the medication vial and, and I set the alcohol swab on top of the pad. And you're gonna take the needle and you're gonna put it directly into that inner circle on uh, the medication vial. So it's gonna look like, so I have to see this as well, right in there. And then you're gonna go straight in. You're gonna turn it up so the liquid falls to the bottom of the, of the medication vial. And you're gonna pull back on the plunger and you see it's filling with a clear liquid, it looks like water. And usually you have to pull past the 15 um, and then press the plunger a little bit to get it uh, right so the plunger's right at the 15 mark. And then you pull the you pull the medication vial off, you set it back down. I'm just gonna show you a close up of this. So you see there, there's 0.05 cc, 0.1 cc, and 0.15 cc for five, 10, and 15. I'm gonna pull the plunger back. So you can see that the plunger for the dose, see that that dark line for the for the 15, the plunger should be right about there. And a little above, a little below is not a big deal. Now you're ready to give yourself your peptide. So you could recap this needle when you're, you know, if you're not comfortable at first, but I've done this a million times, both as a patient and, and you know, as, as a physician. So I take the alcohol swab. Um, you're gonna pick an area, usually just right at the belly, and you're gonna swab this area for 10 seconds. 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. Now that area, you set the alcohol swab down. In the area that you just prepped, you're gonna pinch in, in your fingers. I pinch kind of tight because if you pinch tight, it shouldn't hurt, but you should feel the pressure from your fingers. And now you're gonna take the insulin, the insulin needle and syringe, and you're gonna go straight in. You don't wanna go at an angle. You just go straight in, and then you press the plunger all the way down and you're out and you're done. So that's it, that's the injection. It's really easy. It's fairly it, close to painless or painless. Part of the reason for pinching your fingers a little tight is it distracts the nerves and often you won't feel the needle going, in, going into the skin. Um, what I do is I typically you know, take the syringe that I just used to inject myself and I will recap it. Now you're gonna see a lot of medical videos that tell you don't recap a needle. The reason for that is if, if you're in a hospital or a healthcare setting, and you're using this on somebody else, the, the act of recapping the needle puts you at risk for poking yourself. But capping it after you use it will help prevent this needle from poking somebody else in your family or um, anybody else. So if you've been in our office, we'll give you a sharps container that you just would put this in the sharps container. When that container's full, you bring it back to us and we'll dispose it, of it for you appropriately. If we're shipping this to you either during this COVID situation or you're a client you know, out of state, um, get a bottle like this, a plastic, glass, uh, jar, or a metal container, um, and put the syringe in there, uh, capped in there, so that it won't poke anybody else. You should not dis dispose of this in regular trash. Um, you should take this to your doctor's office so you have sharps in there that need to be disposed of appropriately. And that should be easy for them to do. If they charge you anything, it should be a small fee. It shouldn't be expensive. Um, and that's it. That's a thymosin alpha one injection. Um, and, uh, it's pretty straightforward. I hope that answers your questions. Let me know if you have any others and we'll be happy to address it. Stay healthy, everybody. And we'll talk soon.